Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Shayla, if this is your first time here. So in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about my weight loss journey. I know a lot of you guys have noticed and finally, I, I just feel like finally the weight's starting to come off and I appreciate all the comments. I see them all, that's very encouraging. I just wanted to say this before we get into the video. When you're trying to lose weight, it's such a slow process. So when you guys comment like, oh, you're looking good, like we see the weight loss, it's really encouraging and motivating and it's those little comments that kind of keep you on track, you know? So about a month and a half ago, has it been a month and a half? I believe it's a month and a half. I was talking to Katie, a lot of you guys know her, Lester Lux on YouTube, and she told me she was gonna start the keto diet. And I'm like, what's that? I need to go on a diet. Like I, I was at a point where I needed something. I was ready to go on a diet. I had gained weight. I had gained like 10 pounds, 10, maybe a little 12, a little around there. And I was just like desperate and ready, you know, for a change. So she's like, oh, I'm gonna go on the keto diet. I Googled it. And within like five minutes, I was like, I'm gonna do it too. And I started right then and there. I didn't wait. I started right then and there. And I believe Katie started like the next day. So we've kind of been doing it together, but basically the keto diet is a low carb, high fat diet. And I know, no grains, no sugar. When your body doesn't have any carbs, it goes to your stored fat and starts to use that as energy. And when your body's doing this, it's called ketosis. You guys need to Google it because there's like a really in-depth explanation of how this works. But basically, when your body doesn't have carbs, it goes to the fat and it burns fat for energy, which is why a lot of people on the keto diet lose weight because they're literally burning through their stored fat. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to start this diet because I wanted to lose weight. <laughs> and it's... It's really frustrating when you're working out and you're doing everything that you're told, like three meals a day, two snacks, and it's just not working and you're doing the opposite of what's supposed to be happening. Like I was working out, eating clean. And when I say eating clean, like I really wasn't big on bread. I don't drink soda, I only drink water. Like I was, I was eating pretty good, but I was gaining weight. And I think most of it was from eating out and just my body saying no, like you need to stop. I don't like what you're feeding me. And this diet has really just, it's been such a big lifestyle change for me. It's opened my eyes up to just what my body actually needs and what works well for my body. And if you're searching for a weight loss, and I don't even wanna call it a diet because it's more of like a, just a lifestyle change. Oh, ooh, always dropping stuff. If you're looking for a diet or a lifestyle change or something, I would definitely recommend researching the keto diet. I don't wanna say it's complicated because it's not, but you have to do your research before you start it because they're pretty strict on foods that you can and cannot eat because some foods will take your body out of ketosis and you won't be burning fat. So you really have to do your research before you start this diet. Okay, so in this video, I really wanted to talk to you guys about just my whole weight loss journey from start to finish and kind of the different phases that I've gone through up until this point and just where I'm at now. All right, so I told you, Katie introduced me to the diet. We started basically the same time. The first week of the diet, I lost seven pounds. Like, whoa, it was... It was really water weight. <laughs> like when you when you look up the keto diet, it tells you you're gonna lose a lot of weight, but it's mainly water weight, which it, I mean, it's still weight. Like it felt good looking at the scale. You know what I mean? So the first week I lost seven pounds. The next, would I say three weeks? I didn't lose anything, maybe like a pound, but I, I was losing inches. Well, maybe not inches, maybe like some millimeters, some centimeters. I was losing, but it wasn't reflecting on the scale. So I started to eat less. When I tell you eat less, I think sometimes people go straight to, oh my God, you're starving yourself, you're not eating enough. But in fact, I've always just ate too much. You know, we are trained to eat a lot of food, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks in between. We are kind of taught to always eat and that's not what our body needs. And so the first, I guess, three weeks of the diet, I was doing three meals and I was trying my best not to snack at all. So I would do three meals and then once three meals felt like a lot, I went to two meals. So this would be breakfast and dinner or breakfast and lunch. Those were my two meals. And then once I started to do more research on the keto diet and I kind of felt like my weight wasn't changing, my body wasn't changing fast enough, I started doing more research and found intermittent fasting. That's always so hard for me to say. Intermittent 
fasting. So I started fasting and I think it's been maybe like three weeks now. Yes, I've been fasting for three weeks except when I went to Vegas, I didn't fast in Vegas. So I had like two days off, but I've been pretty much fasting every day for three weeks. So fasting is not eating. You can still drink, you can have stevia. You Well, people, some people will say you can't, but, you, but I've been doing it, it's fine. You could drink tea. You really just can't eat. Your body just can't digest anything. So fasting is a state where you don't eat basically. And I've been fasting for 16 hours every day. So I'll eat breakfast and my breakfast is pretty big. Like I have eggs, bacon, a whole avocado. Avocado is like essential for this keto diet because it has a lot of really good fats in it. So I eat avocados all the time. Let's see, cheese. What else? Eggs, bacon, avocado, cheese. And I'll do like four eggs, you know? So it's a pretty hefty meal. And that kind of keeps me full up until lunch. And then at lunch, I'll have a salad with cheese, avocado oil as dressing and avocados. Or I'll have like a plant-based protein with MCT powder. And that's basically it. Those are my meals. And it keeps me full. It keeps me content. One thing I'm starting to realize with fasting is that you're not hungry. The first couple days when I woke up and worked out, I was a little bit uh, fatigued and lethargic. But after the first few days, I was fine. I, my body kind of adjusted to me fasting. And yes, I work out without anything. I'll drink coffee before I work out and that's it. Water, coffee, and that's it. And then after I work out, I'll eat. I know it sounds crazy, but once you start fasting, you realize, dang, I've been eating so much food this whole time and my body just does not need it. One of the biggest things I'm noticing on the keto diet other than my weight loss and I'm at about 10 pounds, I've lost 10 pounds, which everyone's telling me like, oh, it looks like it's more than 10 pounds. You look like you've lost about 15, 20 pounds, but on the scale, it's only 10 pounds. And working out may have something to do with that, you know, because I got a lot of muscle. But one of the biggest differences I've noticed other than my weight is my energy level. So before, when I was eating, you know, three meals a day and I would have rice in the morning after my workout because I was told I needed carbs was just the fatigue would hit me at about 11 o'clock. I would be so, I would be falling asleep on the couch. I would be so drained and exhausted. And it's like food shouldn't make you tired. It should give you energy. And when I started fasting, I noticed that about nine, 10 o'clock, I get not a burst of energy, but just like I'm very alert. I'm not tired, I'm focused. I've actually been editing a lot at night and up until I go to sleep. And I've noticed that I'm just super focused when I edit. I just get things done. You know, like my work ethic is a little bit sharper. It's crazy. Like I'm still kind of blown away by the results because food has so much to do with just how you move through the day. And I find that eating less and eating just better quality food, organic food, my body is responding so well to it. So a normal day for me would be waking up, drinking, I'll do like six ounces of coffee, anything more than that, it'll kind of make me like a little crazy, but I'll wake up, I'll drink coffee, I'll go to the gym and have my workout with my trainer. Or if it's um, an off day for my trainer, I'll run on the treadmill for three miles, I know. Three miles is hard, you guys. It's hard for me. Like every every time I have to run, I'm like, oh, just push through it. I'm like really giving myself like all types of pep talks because it is difficult. I used to do sprints and I feel like running for distance is just, it's, it's hard, but it's worth it. So I get back from the gym. I have my big breakfast, my eggs, my bacon, avocado, cheese, and then I'll have coffee. And you guys are gonna trip at what I put in my coffee. So it's called Bulletproof Coffee. And I basically put ghee, which is a butter, which is like a grass-fed organic butter. It's a really high fat butter. I put MCT oil, which is derived from coconut oil. It has also more good fats. And I put raw coconut oil. <laughs> I know it's a lot of fat. I put a lot of just natural fats in my uh, coffee. Oh, and stevia. And that is almost like a meal in itself. That really fills me up. So I have my, um, breakfast, my coffee, and then three o'clock. If I'm hungry, only if I'm hungry, I'll do a plant-based protein shake with MCT powder. And then I have like a green, it's called green keto powder. So it gives you like all the nutrients you'd get from vegetables. And by four o'clock I'm done eating and I'll just drink water or tea for the rest of the night. And that's pretty much my day. If I have 
like a dinner meeting or something, obviously I'll change my schedule around, but I like to start my fasting earlier in the day. That way I can eat earlier the next day. And yeah, that's basically it. If you've never heard of the keto diet or you're used to eating all throughout the day, this might be like kind of a shocker for you. Like, oh my God, you're not eating enough. But I just want to tell you guys like, listen to your body, you know, like really listen to your body because if you do, you'll realize that you're not as hungry as you think you are, you know? And a lot of times we just eat because it's either emotional or it's just kind of a habit. Like, oh, we have to eat lunch. We have to eat dinner. We have to. And really, like, we don't. Like, we just overeat. We overdo it. I've been doing it for years. And, like, the keto diets really just opened up my brain to the way I feel like I should have been eating the whole time. All right, let's talk about what I eat when I go out. You can eat chicken wings on a keto diet. See, it's not that bad. So sometimes I'll order chicken wings with no sauce. <laughs> They'll be like grilled chicken wings. I'll tell them to put the sauce on the side. I just won't eat the sauce and I'll have the chicken wings. It's basically just chicken, uh, but it makes me feel good saying, can I have some chicken wings? You know what I mean? It just helps, it helps a just a little bit. Um, or I'll order a salad. I'll do a salad with avocado, of course, bacon, hard boiled egg, and sometimes salmon. Or the other option to eat out would be like asparagus or like spinach and salmon. I try to eat something that doesn't require a lot of sauces or if there is sauce, I ask for it to be put on the side because a lot of sauce has sugar and in the keto diet, you cannot have sugar. I use stevia for everything. Stevia is like a zero calorie natural sugar substitute. And yeah, that's basically it when I, when I go out. Oh, and I have cut back on alcohol a lot. A lot obviously if I go on vacation I'm gonna drink but during the week I'm not drinking like I used to like before I oh, have a glass of wine I'll go to an event oh, I'll have a drink and it's that's kind of all stopped because when you drink alcohol it kind of takes your body out of ketosis and the goal is to stay in ketosis so your body's you know burning fat for fuel efficiently so I haven't been drinking as much and honestly I just feel really good like I feel light I feel great I feel like I'm just getting back to myself, you know what I mean? I want to do a few more videos like this of just like updates of weight loss updates because I plan on doing this diet. I don't even, I don't want to call it a diet, but I plan on doing keto just forever as long as I can. So maybe in like a couple more months, I'll give you guys an update and let you know if I've lost any more weight. And then maybe a few months after that, I'll do another update because I just feel like 10 pounds in a month and a half is a lot. And if it works for me, it could definitely work for you. I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple tips when starting keto because I know so many of you guys, after this video, you're gonna go Google it, you're gonna figure it out, but try and start it with a friend or a boyfriend, a husband, wife, whatever the situation is. Start it with somebody else. That way you guys can kind of talk about the symptoms you have, the struggles you have, and you just have a partner that will encourage you, especially if you get down like, oh, like I'm frustrated if I'm not losing, whatever, you have someone you can talk to. That's tip number one. Tip number two, do your research. Like I'm always looking up keto recipes. Is this food keto approved? Um, there's so many YouTube videos out there. Just educating yourself constantly. Educate yourself on the diet so you know what you're getting into. You know what foods you can and can't eat because if you're on the keto diet or if you think you're on the keto diet but you're eating bread, you know, you're not gonna lose weight and it might frustrate you. So make sure that you have a clear idea. Maybe even write it down. Do not eat and then list everything. Yes, I can eat and list everything that way you know. Just really be informed. And my last tip is to try fasting. I recommend it, it's just, it's just the best thing I could have done. But I wouldn't start fasting until you're about week three because I think you need a couple weeks, a few weeks for your body to kind of get used to the diet first. Because if you do too much at once, you're gonna be fatigued, you might feel a little crazy your body is gonna go into shock and it's not a good feeling. <laughs> so do the keto diet for a few weeks and once you feel like you've kind of figured out the foods you can eat, then try fasting and you could even fast for 12 hours. Um, I fast for 16 hours, sometimes 18. If I guess I ate a big meal, I might even go longer, 22 hours. I've only done that one time. I don't think I could do that consistently every day, but every once in a while I can. 16 is like the magic number for me. It makes me feel good. 
Um, but try fasting. It really, it helps you understand your body because you can kind of just hear what your body's telling you. You know, like if you don't eat for 10 hours and you're not hungry, then it's kind of like a wake up call. Like, oh dang, maybe I'm really just not hungry, you know? And I think you just kind of become more aware of the type of food your body needs, when it needs it, and also how much food you actually need to consume. Oh wait, one more thing. If you guys are gonna try this diet, if you are gonna start a diet, take a picture because I didn't take a picture until like the third week or maybe the second, I think it was like the second or third week I took my first picture just because I wasn't sure the diet was gonna work and it did and now I'm like, ugh, I should have taken a picture. I would have someone take a picture of you and just do that ugly, like, you know, the ugly straight back stand so you can really see what your body looks like and do all angles and then weigh yourself, measure yourself, measure your inches. Like I've gone down about an inch, like you will go down. It may not look like it, but you will go down. Measure yourself and then I would put the scale away and don't take a picture of yourself for a month. I know, it's hard to do. It's really hard to do. If you can't do that, maybe go every two weeks. Measure yourself every two weeks, but I'm telling you, like, you will see a huge difference from day one to day 30, and it's gonna wow you. And I think that whole wow effect is really cool if you can hold off not weighing yourself or measuring yourself or taking pictures of yourself and comparing them side by side, you know what I mean? So that's like the, the final tip. Make sure to measure yourself at the beginning and then wait a few weeks so you can see the, the results and the difference. I know this video was kind of like an introduction to my diet, but I'm still at the beginning. I really just wanted you guys to see my before and after and kind of have an idea of what I've been eating and the diet that I'm on. And really I'm just hoping it encourages you guys to maybe eat healthier and try it out. But I, I wanna answer your questions. I want to continue to update you with my success and I'll definitely keep you guys posted and I'll update you on my weight loss. I again wanna say thank you to everyone who's been leaving me comments like, oh, we see you're losing weight and just encouraging me, it means so much. So if you like this video and you wanna see more videos on my weight loss journey, subscribe to my channel, comment any questions below. I love reading comments and answering questions. And last but not least, strut and slay.